Yeah, hi guys. Um, Brent here. I thought this would be the best way for you to see the house. Uh, it's pretty rough and ready, but anyway, I'll give you an idea. Here we go. So we're just going down the private, private road at the moment towards the property. I hope you can see clearly. Um, give you a good idea of what's around anyway. So as we approach um, the end of the um, private road, you'll see the access to the property up to the right hand side. Just to explain to you, you'll see the hedges, you'll see the hedge row here. Uh, that's where the driveway, the driveway for the, the uh, cottage will be down there. That will be where the driveway is formed. Uh, that will be the responsibility of the new owner because uh, uh, there will be some changes made to the, um, uh, to, the, to, the, air, the, to the cottage or the house if you want to have a garage installed, you see. And uh, so the current owner doesn't know what someone would choose to do. So you can qu clearly see the driveway, the new driveway there formed with the hedgerows. We'll come into the property now. Sorry about how long this is taking. So you can clearly see the neighbouring homes. So there's the driveway back up there towards the top of the hill. Here's some space for a camper van or whatever, or maybe a garage on the side of the home. If you come around to the front here, should be able to show you the view. Um, there's no way you'll ever be built out from up here. This is a space for a spa pool right here. Um, I'll take you inside shortly and show you around. It's lovely in there. If we bring you around, there's the view from the home. The Pahutakawa tree is on the property. There's a rock garden there. That driveway sweeps around behind the hedgerow down to the bottom property. And there's the prop bottom property down, down there at the water's edge. So the home will be built around to the left there. Uh, so no effect whatsoever on this property. There's a shed down there which is sheltered by trees. Now you can see in the distance there, hopefully, uh, two pegs down there, two white pegs. That's the, uh, the eight meter wide uh, strip, well it's supposed to be eight meters, uh, that runs around the back of the shed down there. Runs around the back of the shed and up through the bush to this property. So this property will have its own access down through there. Uh, it will be part of this property, it won't be an easement, it will be part of this title. So I'll just pop us inside and show you around, and then that'll be it. So yeah, lovely home, um, built quite a while ago by a boat builder, so the workmanship in here is terrific. Uh, nice kitchen area, and all the basics. Um, and you can see back out the view from the home. If we head down the hallway, see the master bedroom. Again, opening out onto the sea views. There's a bathroom, shower and separate toilet. We'll carry on down the hallway. There's two more bedrooms. There are um, double beds in here, or queen size beds. Here's a room that's being used as an office, but both these bedrooms actually have these Quirky little areas upstairs which the kids love. There's glass handrails up there. And they're um, uh, sort of nook areas up there. So, whoops, picture of me. Um, we also have a separate laundry. And if we head upstairs, we have this unusual room which is sort of like a, sort of like a rumpus room. It's quite a big room. Bit of treasure up here as well, but yeah. So look, hopefully that's given you an idea of what's here. Apologies that it's so rough, but I just it's easier to explain things in picture really uh, than it is by um, describing in words. So there you go. Hope that's helped. And um, give us a ring if you've got any questions. Thanks, guys.